All right, uh, Jeff, you're up. Jamie, you're on deck. All right, great. Hey, Scott, thank you. Joe, thank you so much for being here. Um, I've got four granddaughters. They all love kicking that ball, and they're all at different levels. The oldest is 12. She's in middle school, age uh, grade six. Good soccer player, very good, very good student. And um, as of this year, she just wants to focus on soccer. Now, you've touched on some of this already. She used to be soccer, cheerleading, played basketball. You know, she was very diverse, but not the parents pushing her. She chose just yeah. soccer. She wants to play for UConn. She wants to be on the, you know, the, this and that. Anyhow, how to, how to address that with her? As good as she is on Sunday afternoons on the travel team, when we travel an hour to get someplace, you see, you see students, you see players, athletes out there, and you say, wow, that girl is about the same age, and wow, is she good. You know, so she's starting to see competition really yeah. starts to develop at that age. Uh, might you have a message for her? Yes, and I think it's really important for us to set goals. Even more important than setting goals is understanding how do we actually accomplish those goals. So not only should she choose someone as a role model that she can look up to, but what did it take for them to get there, right? Actually, what is, what is the process? So process is always more important than outcome. What is the process that she needs to embrace herself, like you talked about? Autonomy is a huge piece of self-motivation, right? When we think of self-motivation theory, autonomy is one of the three key cogs in that. What is the process and have her fall in love with that process? The process is often, Jeff, boring. The process is often monotonous. It is not sexy. So if she really wants to become great, she needs to fall in love with the process. She needs to fall in love with boring. And if she's able to do that, then no matter what she sets her sights to, she will understand that it's all about her behaviors and habits that she's forming that create the process that, that reaches that goal. So I, I would really encourage her to be behavior process based. Thank you. Yep. Great advice.